Merle? No Merle to Merle. Um, if you watching a Merle video, I hope you know. I mean, most people have done the research, but if not, just in case. You do not breed a Merle to a Merle. Too. What up, what up? We're in the house for a minute, man. I'm um, just gonna show y'all the kennels that we get the dogs in, we got the puppies in. So, hold up. That's the nine right there. Uh, we try to feed them in the kennel a little bit too, so, um, just so they won't get distracted. Because I noticed with Mays when she used to eat, and uh, PVBK probably can tell you the same thing, but uh, she gets distracted if she out loose. And uh, we try to feed them in the kennel and stuff. We'll work on them a little bit more. They used to eating out and eating together too. That's one thing you want to also do, raising puppies too. You want to have them eating together so you won't start no food aggression and all that stuff. So, And uh, as long as you can, keep them eating together, making sure they're getting their correct portion. But that's one. I'm about to let her out to uh, go potty and stuff. Got one of my little helpers with me. Ain't nothing up there for you. See the French. She been bred, man. Um, let's try to see what other up. Let y'all know about the other updates that we got going on. That's Q. He been doing pretty good. He just a Peabody, so he gonna he he take the most to uh, work with. And this uh this rain right here. Okay, okay. Go let the knife. I'm about to let them out though. Let them go you out there. She ready to get back to them puppy. Get back. Back, back. Back. But it's usually the morning routine. I'm a little late. Uh, my wife and I already been out and let them out earlier, so uh, they've been been out for the for the morning. But they still gonna go, as you see. That's why you want to kind of get on a strict schedule with them. But uh, yeah, the update. Um, the Frenchie, like I say, she been bred. Obviously, I mean, if you've been around, but if not, if you're new to the channel, just let y'all know what we got going on. Uh, let me see. Oh, let me make sure they use the bathroom before I start walking over here. Come on. Go party. Oh yeah, I didn't say in the last video. I don't know. I don't think I did, but if I did, if I did, I'ma say it again. We tell them to go party. I try not to say it so sweet. Like my wife be trying to do, I had to tell her to uh stop trying to say it so sweet, because I ain't I ain't gonna say it like that. I'm just gonna tell them to go party. And they they use they all go. Uh, he's already pooped. She's pooping. And she pooping. But like you see how many times. I don't know if I got him on video every time. But he peed like 10 times when he heard. I don't think he got no no UTI or nothing. But he drinks a whole lot of water. So he gonna pee a lot. Regardless. Uh, let me take you over to the kennels. Still gotta clean them. They shouldn't be too bad though. I took up the water and food last night. So it may be a little bit something in there. It's been pretty warm man. Mississippi ain't really cold during the winter time. If you're from around here or from the south, you, you understand that. And I like to have my dogs out in the nature. If it get cold, if it get cold, they they come inside and get kenneled up. But we got the French out here with him. I right, say so it's a little it's a little stuff out there. It's quick cleanup. It ain't as bad as it would be if all if all the puppies was in there. Cause they be they be going crazy. They be going wild. Um as you know shorty Shorty was available. He's gone now. Uh, one of my guys, matter of fact, he going to the same place that uh, that Rose went to. He's he's a he's a real pioneer with that blood. He like he really liked that blood and stuff. Um, Cause he basically dealt with it firsthand, uh, just like us, for us to even get the blood. And um, yeah, I mean. And this girl right here is available.
Matter of fact, let me clean this crap up. I don't even like like the way it look. Give me a second. Back. Uh, to y'all, that probably was a split second. To me, it really wasn't even much. Like I said, it wasn't much down. Uh, we getting back on a better schedule of cleaning it up, too. I usually don't try to show y'all that, but at the same time, you can see you can see what it really is, man. It's <laughs> breeding dogs, taking care of dogs, and cleaning up poop, man. Feeding dogs and stuff. And, I mean, that's just one aspect of it because at the end of the day, you still got to put good dogs together, good pedigrees. But, yeah, she available, man. Uh, hopefully, my, my editor will let me edit. My, like, which I say my editor ain't like I got somebody editing my videos for me, but it's uh my editing app. It be kind of crashing sometimes. So, but she's available. If she don't go, I be getting, I be breeding her. It's just, I don't know, man. It's just a lot, a lot we trying to do, a lot of stuff we trying to move. She's not cheap, man, by by any means. You see the quality on her. She's just as big as um, just as big as a coya. Um. She got a little bit of anxiety, which you can hear. But uh, usually when you let her out and you, she around, especially where I wanted to go is to a, a in 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 house, like somebody inside, cause she she still potty trained and stuff, house trained pretty good. Uh, you see, she blue try. Uh, she does carry chocolate, so she can she can uh, produce lilac, just like uh, he can produce lilac. But uh, hey. Yeah, she could produce a uh, lilac if she bred right. And if you don't even want to breed her, man, she'd be a little cheaper for a pet home. But like I say, man, she she never been bred. She's had her first heat already and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, she done had her first heat uh, probably about two, going on three months ago. Uh, but, yeah, she's available. Hit my, uh, hit my email. In my inbox on Facebook or uh or uh Instagram. Let me catch up to these puppies real quick. Man, these puppies be testing my gangster, bro. <laughs> they be crazy about the water, so I had to basically keep them out the water with the house train. So we usually give them we give them water when we want them to have uh -uh, when we want them to have water, but they'll over drink, they'll overindulge in it, so. We have to uh, keep an eye on them. It's not like they're not getting any water, but like with puppies in general, if one puppy drinking, they all gonna come drink, even if they ain't thirsty. Yeah, some big dogs still do that, just so they know what the. Probably, I, I'm guessing they be tasting the water like it be different water to them or something. But about like people, man, it be, it be different, man. Different dogs, different thing. Get out of there. Get out of. There. Let's turn it over. But yeah, man, that's that's a couple updates. Um, also, I'm gonna show y'all some puppies, the puppies that's available. Uh, give y'all a little update on them too. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep one puppy out there little, just cause I'm cutting back on so many bullies. And uh, if you hadn't asked already, if you can't tell, we cutting back on a lot of the bullies, man. We are gonna keep most of these. I may do a couple more breedings, which I mean, I'm not gonna do no BS breedings or nothing. Obviously. Uh, we're going to make everything count. If we're going to do the breeding, we're going to make it count, man. There's no point in doing breedings that we don't really want to do. Which, I mean, we got the, the right dogs around to, uh, you know, do the right breedings that we want. So, if we whatever we want to take something to on the yard, we'll take it to. Uh, this girl will be available. And she's going to be to a pet home only, man. Uh, I don't even want to breed her again. As far as like you know, put put stress on her and the thing. There's no point of breeding her again. We bred her once and we got what we needed off of her. So she'll be going to a pet home. She probably like if if she even 14 inches because she's a little bit shorter than Akoya and I think Akoya 14, if not a little bit over 14. But uh, the puppy's right there with her. These are gonna <laughs> stick, man. I'm I'm really I'm really happy about them. Uh, if anything, we're gonna keep the puppies. So, uh, just about everything else is up for grabs except the puppies in the Frenches. So hit me up and I'll let you know if you're just interested. And if you like what we got and stuff, if you're interested. Uh, but we moving to a smaller dog. Like I say, uh, people that ask me about like why was I selling selling shorty, uh, Tiny Tim. It's just like, if I'm gonna have a short dog, I'm just gonna have a Frenchie. I mean, it's just really no point. Just like people, like that do those overdone and kind of super bulldog looking exotics. 
if you're going to, like, how, how I always felt about it, like, it's not, it's no knock against them or nothing, but if, if I was going to do it and I get a, a exotic that look like a bulldog, I just go ahead and breed bulldogs. I mean, if they look that much like a bulldog, I just breed bulldog. So if I'm just going to have a small dog, I'm going to have a Frenchie. And uh, and the breed is more consistent to me too. You you'll know exactly what you're getting. It ain't really no question. If the parents look like crap, they gonna you know the puppy's gonna look like crap. <laughs> Which I mean that's that's anything. If you pay attention to that type of stuff. But yeah, man. Uh, letting them out, and letting them play, is the best part of the day to me. Just seeing the puppies play, man. Even big dogs, they still be acting like puppies. So, um, yeah, it ain't um. Uh, yeah, that, and yeah, I'm going to show y'all the puppies that's available in just a second. Let me make sure I got everybody that's out here. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to have one male available off this litter, man. Like I say, the, the puppies is not cheap, bro. Like, I can tell you, I can, if, if I can put the uh, website up there, y'all can go up there and look at how much the stuff he is on the data. I mean, it may, it may or may not care. You know, you may or may not care. As far as like the price of him, but I mean, it, it, when you understand these dogs and you'll see the prices on them, you'll understand why we charge this. Um, and his his stud fee, they dad stud fee is gonna rise up. I think he's gonna be 10k uh, at the beginning of the year, so you can get a puppy off of him and you can make that off of him, or you can just have your good pet, man. Like the other, the first one we sold, he was a straight pet. Like no questions asked. All they wanted was a pet, and they pay, they paid the price that we asked for. Them. And then they was a repeat buyer, so they got a discount also. We do uh, discounts on our repeat buyer. Uh, but Buddy gonna be available. He ain't a bad looking dog at all. It's just I don't need too many studs because I'm more likely gonna keep a stud off of this uh, other litter, and we gonna probably try to just keep most of the studs and a couple females, just you know, just to have around. I ain't trying to keep too many big dogs. This girl gonna be bred soon. She should be coming to heat soon. Nana. Nana. Trying to get that little piece of grass. She kind of weird, bro. She like one of them uh the freshers that I be telling y'all about, man, that they don't really be trained like talking about. She a little bit, she crate trained and stuff. Somewhat. But she too old to be in the house and be pissing in the counter and I got puppies to train. So rather than trying to train her to potty train with us, just like any new dog. She got a little time where we can we can train her, which uh, her mind should snap back into it once we start back training her. I only got a certain amount of kennels, and he's been in. We just let him back out with her, so she won't be uh, in case it get a little chilly. Which um, he's a big body dog. You will have to see him in person to actually see what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm gonna put some water down for them in a second, and I'm gonna finna head in and show y'all the puppies. But she may not be flashy as far as color. But the thing about color genetics, especially with Frenchies, or just any dog in general, that cream, mainly Frenchies, that cream is going to cover up everything. So she's basically a blue tri. She ba she just like glow. She just covered in cream. Cream cover up everything. Uh, and so does Fun. If you got a copy of AY, that Fun is going to cover up basically everything. Brenda does the same thing. So a Brenda dog can carry a lot of uh, color too um, with their DNA. So... It's it's fun learning this stuff, man. Once you learn it, it's it's pretty simple. And um Yeah, man. But I'm gonna get right back with y'all in just a second, man. I'm finna show y'all the puppies. Kill them. So we back. Um wash my hands and everything. I'm about to pick the puppies up for you real quick. Um well I mean y'all seen them, but I'm probably I'm gonna show y'all again. Um, one of these, one of the chocolate tri males, chocolate tri merle males is going to be available. And we decided to go ahead and let the female go, man. Uh, obviously she's not going to be cheap because it's still, I mean, it's not a, a, a must sell. We can always keep her in, in, in breed or so. I'm not trying to sound like an ass. Like I tell people when they messaging me, if I'm, if I'm going to be real with you, you know, some people take it as you being a, a a-hole. Can't really say what I want to say on her, but you know, people think you being rude or something. So they feel like, you know, but I go ahead and tell everybody I'm not trying to be like that because I really ain't, I ain't that type of person. If I'm going to tell you something, it's going to always be the truth. I don't, I mean, it's really no point of lying to nobody. She does have a, a, a slight underbite right now. 
and she got a little kink tail. But if you know how to breed, that should be no problem at all. Or if you just want a pet, that definitely shouldn't be any issue. Because if you got a pet, you ain't worried about, like, breed and quality. As long as the dog healthy and, and, and it's sound and what you want, then, you know, they probably going to jump. But it shouldn't matter, especially for just a, a pet. Uh, that male is going to be available at the moment. Like I say, we looking to keep a chocolate dry. Merle male. But, I mean, it's not guaranteed. It's, they only went three weeks. They just not starting to walk around. Pick up one uh, chocolate one for me. Chocolate? Yeah. So, one of these right here is going to be available. I don't, we don't know for sure yet. I'm trying to look Matter of fact, go right here so I can get the light on. Turn it to me, son. Well, one of these will be available. Uh, do your research on the Merle. You pin, put them down. Put them down. <laughs> do your research on research on the Merle, buddy. Uh, I know y'all probably inquired about a couple dogs on 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 certain places before about Merle, the Merle pattern. Uh, which is it, it is a pattern like Brenda, so I mean it's not a color. The color is what like chocolate or black or lilac and all that stuff. Uh, which one you pick up, man? Um, you remember? <laughs> Pick up another chocolate. Oh, Pick up the one right here. Let's open the gate. Well, it's good to have kids, man. I ain't got to do all the extra heavy lifting. Because the mother's is heavy. And it's going to be another one. Can't guarantee you they want the same one, but they, they look identical. But one of them will be available. Because uh, we, we're going to keep one one chocolate trimaryl male. You can put them down. And uh, this one right here, he's available also. He's a black trundle mirror man. I know a lot of people like the black trundles. Uh, he'd make a great pet for somebody. He'd make a great stud dog for somebody. That way you'll have just about every color. Uh, that's my little soccer player, man. He be having a little sweat man on all the time. Every time you see him in the video, he got one on. So <laughs> he loves soccer. He good at everything you do, so. Uh, but yeah, he'll make a nice little stuff for somebody, man. I ain't asking top tier for him, but I mean you're gonna have to pay for what you want if you want that good that good looking pattern like that. Especially him, he carries everything. He since their daddy was a platinum, you can put him down. Their daddy was a platinum, so he's basically the daddy was basically a lot like. Uh, I gotta clean the pen out, so don't worry about that. Uh, the daddy was a lilac, so that mean he was the daddy is blue and chocolate. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down and do a video. Me and my wife are gonna sit down and do a video on color with y'all too, so y'all can actually understand what I be talking about. But he can, he is blue and chocolate, so that makes lilac the dad. And the mom cares chocolate. That's how you got these chocolates right here. So with the dad being blue and in chocolate, all the puppies will carry blue. All the cup, all the puppies will carry chocolate since he is chocolate. That gene passes on every time. It's a recessive gene, so it passes on. Obviously, with a dominant gene, it's gonna knock it out as far as visible color. Just like she's black and her brother's black. Well, he's black and his sister's black. They gonna show the phenotype, which is the physical color of black, but underneath with their DNA, what they can produce. Just like we carry certain traits and stuff as human beings. With with their genes, their color will produce, you know, is what they carry. If they don't carry something, they can't produce that color. That's why with uh Spice, we never really got into color. We just used to get fun. Because she was like she was a fun, but she was covered in Brenda. Like I said, that, that Brenda covers everything. And yeah, this is a lengthy video, but I mean, if you actually want to see the dogs and, and, and get some education, man, you'll stay along. Uh, hopefully you stay long this this long, but like I say, they they don't they don't show visible color, but they can show color. So she's a black dog, and she's merle. That merle pattern will carry on fifty percent of the litter. Half of the litter will be merle if you decide to breed them. If you get them at full rights, then you know half of the litter will be merle. 
And I mean, it's all percentage. It's not guaranteed, but you know, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be half. Just like half of the litter will be Brenda if you had a Brenda dog. Shall so, have no Merle to Merle. No Merle to Merle. Um, if you watching a Merle video, I hope you know. I mean, most people have done the research, but if not, just in case, you do not breed a Merle to a Merle. And those people out there say that you can. But I mean, it, it, that's that's if you really can. It's, it's like a lot of research into that, and I don't know about y'all, but I ain't finna do all that and take that risk. Cause I mean, you can get deaf puppies, you can get blind puppies, you can get all type of issues with a murder to murder. Now that's one of the, the the bad patterns to breed together. You can breed two brindle, brindle dogs together and be okay, but two murals is just something about that gene. You're not gonna want to breed them together. You don't. I mean, don't do it. You not. I ain't gonna say not want to. Just don't do it. I know a lot of people don't, don't like to listen because I'm one of them. But when it comes to this, I listen to that because I mean, I don't want no no messed up dog in general, regardless of whatever going on. I don't want to breed no messed up dogs. If I'm gonna breed them, if they be messed up, is they not gonna be here? But you never have to worry about that over here because we're not gonna do that type of stuff. But just like he's visible chocolate, he's chocolate, but he also carries blue because his daddy was blue. So that gene passes on half of that, you know, half of that blue gene passes on the recessive part because the mama doesn't carry blue. So they all carry blue, which, like I said, we'll make a video. Uh, I'm going to get mama back in here to clean his, clean his pen up, though, because they just going. But uh, we'll get more into depth on that, man. If you if you already know, then you understand what I'm saying. But uh, get with me, man. They not they not super cheap, but they not super high, man. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, man, go ahead and subscribe to it. And you can watch all all our dogs grow up, man. Especially these Frenches that's coming, man. I'm excited about the Frenches because we 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 got good experience with breeding now, for sure, with the bullets, and <laughs> that's that's experience enough for the most part. But um. Just stay tuned, man. Watch everything that's coming, man. I'm 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 appreciative for everybody that subscribed to the channel, especially all the supporters that comment on just about every video, or even just talk to me on on, on Instagram and all my other uh things. But uh, y'all have a good day, man. It's Tony, the Dynasty Bulls, and we checking out, man. Signing out for the day.